All right, so um, what I'm noticing is a lot of guys are buying the scan tools which show engine data. And I had one case where I had an Envoy with a PO172 and one of the test procedures was was to compare the map reading of a known good, you know, Trailblazer Envoy with what the map reading of that particular Envoy was saying. Well, what the hell are you going to do if you don't have a good running Envoy next to your Envoy that has the PO172 with a suspected map sensor problem? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through my scan tool and give the parameters now in both open and closed loop modes just for a reference for other people to compare theirs to if you know there's a problem or something. Um, as far as I know right now, my Trailblazer, no codes, no engine problems, so everything should be you know a good baseline for you know known good um, parameters. So we're going to start now. Um, we're going to start up the truck. It's cold. First thing off the bat, um, engine coolant temp and intake air temp. They're right within within about two degrees of each other. Why that's important, I don't remember, but I remember having to look that up before. Map sensor engine off, 4.92 volts. Both O2 sensors are sitting at 447 millivolts. Knock sensor sitting at about five volts. Well, 4.49, whatever. Our calculated airflow is about 14 grams a second. Engine loads right around 47%. Our map sensor is at 1.57 volts. Our upstream O2 is about 900. 30-ish millivolts. Downstream O2 is right around fluctuating between 600 and... Oh, it's all over the place. We just went into closed loop already. We were in closed loop in 56 seconds, so I hope I got everything that we needed. Well, our map sensor now in closed loop is at about 1.3 volts. That was the question that came up on the last one that I did. I think it was reading something like 3.5 and mine, which I went out and looked at, was rated right around 1.3 or whatever. So I knew that I had a, you know, a flaky map sensor, which turned out to be the fix from the PO172. Well, we'll keep this going until the uh, ECT gets up to full warm. Right now it's about 104 degrees. Um, so now we play the waiting game. So I'm in closed loop. You can kind of see the O2 switching. So I'm still not quite warmed all the way up, as you can see T sensor. I guess it'd be easier just to do it like this than to try to like mouth them off real quick. <laughs> but I'll put I'll, I'll say the important ones, which were uh, the map, the O2s, and uh, the intake air and uh, ECT. Yeah, you see we're in closed loop. Like I said, I was only in open loop for probably under a minute. Alright, so I think I got this good now. I got engine speed, calculated airflow, map voltage, and our O2 voltage is here in closed loop mode. So we'll see what happens here at idle at, I can't see the effing screen, about 620 RPM, something like that. So at about 2000 RPM in, you know, in park, see the changes there. And again, you know, these are just roughly guidelines kind of thing. Hell, I'll probably even use them in the future instead of running out and hooking this up to my truck. You know, if I want to compare, you know, a known good parameters to another Trailblazer or Envoy. So I don't know what else, you know, everybody would want to see. I, I just know that, that that whole map sensor deal from the other day was what inspired me to make this video. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? And the other thing is I don't know what you know, parameters these guys, the scan tools are going to be able to read. Engine oil life remaining. What the fuck? I never knew that was in here. So from when we changed the oil last time in the other video, it's now at 72% life left. 
I reset the light after I did so that. So I'll probably post up what I got here, what I took today. But um, if you guys run into anything and need a specific thing about it answered, there's going to be a link to a thread on GMT Nation about this video. And that's where you're going to want to go to get the questions answered. If you, know, if you need any other specs, you know, from a known good uh, Trailblazer, Envoy, or any of the variants, um, that's going to be where to go to get it. Yeah, I thought that was pretty stupid. That it's a, it's a it's a program we use for you know no nonsense troubleshooting, and it said that you know just to go out and, and, and plug you know your scan tool into a known good trailblazer, one that's running running good, one that doesn't have the PO one seven two, and it's like, well, who the fuck has that luxury? Right. I don't. Well, well now I they mean, do. I did, but because my you know I have I own a trailblazer, but what if it was another mechanic somewhere? You know, what are you gonna do? Fucking flag people down on the side of the road? Hey, you have a check engine light on? Let me let me plug my scan tool in, man. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, that's what it was. It was you know comparing values of the map readings, and you know if it was X, replace the map, and if it was Y, do something else, and it just ended up being the map sensor. You know, it kind of goes against like the whole DIY thing because you get a little bit more in depth than you know just replacing spark plugs or something, but. You know, if more and more people are getting these tools and, and doing shit like this, trying to figure out stuff on their own, you know, I figured I might as well go ahead and make this, you know what I mean? Might, might help somebody. Yeah, back in my day, <laughs> we didn't have your goddamn PCM. Everything was done by the carburetor. <laughs> I'd just tell Tony to adjust the carb and the shit would work fine. 